It started on the field, carrying on into the night right now. A celebration fit for a team. It's Pasadena bound. Hi, everyone. What a story. Tonight, the Wolverines are headed to the Rose Bowl and a shot at the national championship. The players, they're soaking it in. The fans celebrating into the night, and Action News cameras were the only ones there as Coach Lloyd Carr received a hero's welcome. If Lloyd Carr wanted to run for president tonight, he'd be an absolute shoe-in here. Are you going to be able to sleep tonight, really? You know, I didn't sleep last night, and I know I'm not going to sleep tonight. It was a classic celebration. Michigan alumni raising the roof at Big Daddy's in West Bloomfield, celebrating the U of M's convincing win over Ohio State. A perfect ending to a perfect season. Well, it's the first time 11-0 since my son was six months old in 1971. Is that right? Yeah. How's your voice holding up? It's, it's getting there. <laughs> How'd you like the game today? It was beautiful. It was great. It was beautiful, it was great. U of M fans from different decades were savoring the moment. Even a future student got into the swing of things. You have a great uh, team and a great uh, group of people at Michigan, and it's, it's a thrill to be a part of it. Now, he's a class act. First time I met him. Channel 7's Dave Llewellyn is in with more on the players' reaction to today's huge win. Hi, Dave. Hey, Mike. It's one of the great rivalry in college football. You know that. And the game itself was exciting. Wolverines jumped in front today 20 to nothing, and then held off the Buckeyes to win the Big Ten title. And that outright trip to the Rose Bowl, Don Shane was in the middle of a big Michigan celebration on the field. Mays wasn't about to miss out on this excitement. He's been sidelined since the Indiana game with a knee injury, but what a special moment for the Pasadena-bound Wolverines. You got the rose in your hand already? Yeah. I stole it, but we're going, baby. Yeah. Never won a championship in my life, but this is, the, this is the best team I've ever played on. We love each other. We're like brothers. Oh, I mean, all the different races come together and just put everything aside for one common goal, and that's the Rose Bowl. And we did it as a team today and just give everybody credit. We worked hard all this year, and it's paying off, baby. Our fans going crazy. We go party tonight, baby. Rose Bowl, baby. Charles Woodson played a key role in the victory with a punt return for a touchdown and an interception in the end zone that stopped an Ohio State threat. Brian Greasy was efficient again at quarterback. He returned for a fifth year with a Rose Bowl victory, his goal. I didn't come back uh, not to win the Rose Bowl. I mean, that was uh, my goals uh, from the start, last year and this year. And I wasn't going to be satisfied unless that's what happened. So uh, this feels even better. And when the Wolverines wake up tomorrow morning, they'll figure they're probably going to be number one in both polls because Florida State was beaten today by Florida. We'll have more on that. Also, more reaction to the Michigan victory coming up in just a few minutes in sports. And never more so than on this day, when the Wolverines celebrated their magic moment with unbridled enthusiasm and real, raw emotion. It feels great, baby. <laughs> Just to let the world know, Michigan is back. And while that's a great feeling for the fans and the coach and his jubilant players, well, the university president wasn't too upset about it either. This is a team that, that everybody loves. Uh, I mean, it has a kind of quality to it that it just makes it very special. And it's a, a team that the university is very, very proud of. We did it, baby! We did it, baby! We shot the world! We shot the world! Michigan! All right, the streets of Ann Arbor are a little quieter tonight than the mayhem on the field after the game, but this town and this university is in an uproar. Why not? The Wolverines are going to the Rose Bowl for the first time in six long years. In Ann Arbor, Fred Heumann, Nightbeat. Horse, 
from yelling at the top of their lungs today, exulting in victory, 20 to 14 over those hated rivals from Ohio. The trash talking all week poured onto the field. David Boston and Charles Woodson go at it early. Woodson did most of his talking with his feet, though not his gums. Woodson picked the perfect time to play a near perfect game. Here, Brian Creasy connected with him for 37 yards that set up the first touchdown of the day from Anthony Thomas. Later, it was Charles in charge, perhaps swaying even more Heisman voters on this national TV game. His first punt return touchdown of the season, a 78-yard sprint. 13-0 Michigan. Shades of Desmond Howard doing the same thing to the Buckeyes on his way to the Heisman six years ago. Third quarter after a successful fake punt. Well, who else but Woodson to pick it off? And then later, the other corner. Andre Weathers does his thing. Look at him go. Touchdown. And Michigan led it 20 to nothing. The nation's number one defense, though, didn't miss a beat all day, except here. Woodson beaten on the long bomb by Boston. But look, he then taunts Woodson as he goes into the end zone. It cost him a penalty. Later, the fans would be a little white-knuckled because of that fumble by Greasy. Led to a touchdown, 20 to 14. But then the defense slammed the door. The sack and the smell of roses, so sweet. Fred Human has more now from the Big House. They were jumping around long before the game as it got ready to start and long after the game. In between, Charles Woodson and the Wolverines laid a licking on the Buckeyes that Ohio State's David Boston won't soon forget. What did Boston say to you after the touchdown? Well, he, he said, uh, he really say no, he just waved the ball in my face. And, and he got one. I give him his credit. He got one. But uh, the rest of the game, he couldn't get nothing. You know why? Because I was in his face all day. I let him know I was there. I let him know you can't just talk noise to everybody. And so tonight, it's Michigan doing all the talking and all the celebrating. It's the greatest feeling I've had. Since I've been playing football, just a great win for the, for this team and we're going to the Rose Bowl, baby. You haven't forgotten the words to the victors, have you? Hail to the victors, darling! Hail to the conquering hero! We love each other, we hang together, we do everything together. I mean, we love each other, and that's all that matters. And we sleep together. We even sleep together. Tell me that. You know, we haven't uh, measured up in the last three or four years, so it's great to uh, get back on top, get to the Rose Bowl. It was the type of afternoon and the kind of post-game mayhem that makes college sports exactly what it is, uniquely special. And for Michigan fans, no moment was finer than this one. In Ann Arbor, Fred Human, Night Beat Sports. Top ranked and unbeaten Wolverines hosting fourth ranked, once beaten Ohio State. The Rose Bowl recipe is simple if Lloyd Carr's crew wins. They're Big Ten champs and they head to Pasadena. But if the Buckeyes pull the upset, it'll stir the pot of confusion by bringing Penn State back in. For starters, a record college crowd in Ann Arbor, 106,982. And David Boston. Oh boy, getting after it with Charles Woodson, but let me tell you, the Woodman would have a lot to say on the field. 6'1", 200 pounds, has done it all this season, and another huge play. They're already up 7-0. He's picking them up, and he's putting them down, down the sideline, 78 yards. Key play there, extra point, blown, 13-0. David Boston can't believe it. Third quarter, Stanley Jackson hadn't been picked all year. He picks on Woodson. That's what you get when you go at the Heisman Trophy candidate. He snags it. Next play. Next time he has the ball, remember that stat about Jackson hadn't been picked all year? How about two in a row? And that is devastating. What are you doing, Stanley? Andre Weathers says thanks a lot. He cruises in 20 nothing. Michigan and Coop has seen this all too often. A little later in the third, Buckeyes come back. Joe Germain sacked five times on the day, but he's leading the comeback again. Looking left, throwing right, picking on that man, Woodson. Why? Well, Boston this time with a great play and then a little bit. Na -na 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 -na. That's going to cost him 15 yards for taunting. They kicked the extra point that became a field goal. And then Coop gets in Boston. Yeah, what are you doing? You can't do that. Play the game. And he's going to take Ohio 20 to 14, or 20 to 7, and then a big play here from Gary Berry. The sack and the strip on Brian Greasy, and Jerry Rudzinski covers it. Ohio State punches it in. It's 20 to 14. Lloyd Carr thinking, I'm going to blow a 20 0 lead. What, what's going to happen? Under two minutes to play, third and seven. Andy Katzenmoyer. Oh, how close. Look at that. He would have walked into the end zone, and Coop can only dream and dream, but the nightmare continues. Wolverines are headed to Pasadena. Greasy gets his just desserts and Woodson the MVP of the day.
and wow, that's about the only reaction from Michigan. Unbelievable game. They complete their first perfect regular season since 1971. Wolverines will play for their first national championship since 1948. And for Speaking of Charles Woodson, you know, all week long you've been hearing it from David Boston, but finally Woodson talked the talk. Except for one play, let him get a touchdown. Basically, he laid down. And today I, I was just like a father out there chastising my son for, for, for running his mouth to the wrong people. And, I mean, it, it was just a great feeling out there. And, he, you know, he talked a lot, but, I mean, he, he didn't back it up. Woodson's a great football player. Uh, his punt return reminded me a little bit of Desmond Howard's up here a few years ago when we, when uh, you know we 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 have ball. We first of all, it's a good punt. We've got guys down there. I don't know how many how many tackles he broke, but it looked to me like we had three or four guys in position to make the tackle. We just didn't wrap him up. <laughs> Can y'all smell that? I just want to make sure everybody smell it. <laughs> For those of you with sense around, you know what he means. And for those of you who don't think Charles Woodson deserves a shot at the Heisman, take a look at the huge numbers he put up when it counted. On the field for 86 plays, he returned that punt for a touchdown, a huge pick. And Charles could take charge in the Heisman push. Now here's how it all breaks down. Michigan goes undefeated through a very tough Big Ten conference schedule. Their national title hopes now rest upon their Rose Bowl showdown on January 1st when they face Wazoo. Each other's job during the game. Wait to hear what Woodson had to say about Boston. Florida calls Woodson and his Michigan Wolverines unbeaten, and here goes Woodson. 78 yards as he goes to the hoop. 13 0 Michigan at the break. Second half, here come the Buckeyes. Stanley Jackson had a day he'd love to forget. To who? Andre Weathers. 43 yards, TD, 20-0, Michigan. Fourth quarter at 20 to 7. Brian Greasy, calm, cool, and drops it. Jerry Rudzinski inside the two. Bethany Pearson touchdown, it's 20 to 14. 50 seconds left. Joe Germain in. He has had some success. Pick, no. Down to the ground it goes. John Cooper, 1-8 one, and 1 lifetime against Michigan. Charlie Woodson fighting into the rows, not afraid of any thorns there. 20 to 14. The Wolverines win. They're 11 0. They go to the Rose Bowl. By the way, Charles Woodson on David Boston. He laid down. I felt like a father chasing his son out there. He'd been talking all week. We gave him a lesson today. Powerful words from Woodson. Goodbye.